searching in the dark Trusting every clue I found I don't know if you <laughs> you see what I'm working with every day? This, this is day, day in the life. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, Tom. <laughs> Hi guys, as you see, this is uh, it's not an outdoor video. It was supposed to be an outdoor video, but my files got corrupted. So instead of having like, an epic send from... Oh, email didn't actually send 8A+. So I guess it doesn't really matter. <laughs> but we're gonna do, like at the same time, a review of the Psyche crash pad. Um, yeah, so he hooked, it up, hooked us up with this pad and he just wanted us to try out and see what we thought about it. So it's a kind of a classic pad. Uh, I would say it does the job really well. Um, it looks like this way. Nice. This size. All right, as you can see, it's quite thick. Uh, we used it twice, once outside here in Stockholm and then Åland. So I think it could get softer, but it, sound, it, it does feel like a standard kind of uh, mad pad kind of the classic thing um, and as I've said before it's from the company Psyche um, they seem to have a really good community and they seem to sponsor a lot of kind of athletes that are up and coming and yeah they seem to kind of create like something something cool yeah keep up the good work something that I think sticks out with the pad is this a strange position sitting in let's change it up yeah the thing that we kind of light with the pad and that's actually quite beneficial is that it's as you see a really bright pink and Emil had like a really good thing about it. We kind of lose the pads in the woods, we run around. So this pad just makes it really easy to find it. And we also like, we weren't all on climbing. We met a bunch of climbers, they watched this channel also. And they're like, well, if you get lost in the woods, like the helicopters will find you. Uh, that's and that's kind of the joke. So to some extent, that is very much true. So that's my point on the Psyche crash pad. And it's 99, 99. Um, pounds. So I think that's in dollars, maybe like hundred and twenty dollars, something like that, rough estimate. Like maybe the first pad you would buy to some extent. And I mean, it's to me, it does the job. A nice that log. Yet I don't know what to do. There's no one here to film. I can film when Ada is like working. Same. Or the same one. Same me. All right. So as you can see, there's no one here to that can film climbing. I've been chasing people around. I don't actually know. Can find anyone. I'll do a fast, fast run around. Look at Saudi. I don't know if you can see, but it's raining. Damn it. Okay, as you can see, it's closing time, and I didn't find anyone to film with. Okay, can't actually see me. Yeah, let's just run home. All right, we're back in a classic room. It's been a while since I've been here sitting and talking to you guys. Um, yeah, so unfortunately, like the footage from the outdoor video disappeared. Um, stuff like that happens. Uh, hopefully me and Nick, uh, Nick and Emil can go out like more before like the winter arrives. It's been really raining in Sweden lately, so I don't know if it's the season is actually over. I kind of be thinking if we should take this time to update you guys a bit as well. I know you guys have been asking about the podcast and when it's going to happen. What's going on during this summer. Uh, and I will release a video soon where we'll talk about all those things. It has to do with like chasing your dreams and those things. It's been a challenging summer for sure. And I do want to talk to you guys about a lot of things, but I'll say that for another video. Because uh, I don't think that chapter is just yet over. I like, I want to talk about it when it's like, when I know how it's actually kind of ending and something new is starting. So everything is coming together. So stick with me for a couple more weeks. Then I'll let you in on all the things I've been doing during this summer. Uh, it is quite late now, so that's why I'm whispering. Um, so I think I end the vlog here and also as always you know I appreciate the support and all the comments that you guys give me I read them all even though I don't answer them all uh, I'm trying to do my best and same on Instagram uh, I do read them all and I try to answer as many as I can so we're actually dropping another video tomorrow so there's gonna be a few videos back to back uh, I guess something I could say actually is that I am aiming to get a season two going, which means I want to have an episode every day, like bring it back like I used to do before. So that's a kind of a big goal. But after I've kind of done all the things that needs to be done within, within this month, uh, I'll start doing that again. So I'm really excited, but I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good night. <laughs>